right, we're here at the motors at we're here at the motorsports show with uh, top presenter Bob Hill, Bob Hill Sportswear. How uh, how's everything going for you so far at the show, Bob? Uh, it's great. It's a really good crowd today, and I'm glad the weather didn't hold anybody back. You know, it's, a, it's been really busy. That's, that's good to hear. You've been involved in motorsports for a lot of years. You've done, you know, you can see all the shirts you've done around here. So and you, you're probably the best in the business. What makes you coming back to motorsports? And you put a lot of money into this motorsport, especially Brett's Short Track Super Series. How does that pay off for you? Yeah, it's really good. Racing's been good. I mean, that's our backbone. I was brought up around racing, and I used to letter cars, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, and I started doing T-shirts, and it kept on growing, and uh, the motorsport show, we've, we've done every one of them, so it's like, it works out really well, and we're only 20 minutes from here, so it's sort of our backyard, but uh, we try to get back to racing. Racing's really been good to us, and it's a good group of hard-working people, so... Uh, we do other work besides racing with fire companies and schools and fundraising and things like that, but the, the hub always comes back to racing. So. Yeah, it does. And I've, I've been on your website. I've seen a lot of the things you do, and everything you do is very good. It's awesome. So, but, you know, involved with Brett Dale, you've been involved with him since the beginning. Um, you know, Brett's very good. He puts out a lot of media, and that's got to help your business, too. Oh, absolutely. Brett's great, and, I mean, he's... he's so young and energetic, you know, and he's not afraid to try things, and that's what you need to do, you know, and you just need to go out there and, and get some things done, and he really is doing that, and uh, he's been super. His promotions are really good for us, and uh, he puts on a good show and honest man, and we really like working with Brett, so. Yeah, I like working with Brett, too. I think, you know, everything he touches, you know, seems to pan out. You know, I'm sure there's failures among the thing, but he... He puts his 100% effort in everything he does, and that definitely pays off. Yeah, I mean, racing is about hard work, you know. I mean, it takes some money and everything, but it's about hard work, and Brett's definitely a hard worker. I mean, he dedicates his whole life to it. I don't think he does anything but thinks about the racing, and, and it shows, you know. It, it, he has a really good program, and he just, he just keeps at it. So it's exciting. Every time when he calls me, I know there's something new going on and everything. So... Uh, uh, we're very proud to be a part of that series. Yeah, I, uh, we are too. As Dirt Track Digest, you know, we we love covering it for everybody. And uh, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk to us. And I, as a fan, appreciate everything you do for our sport and uh, look forward to doing it for years to come. Well, Dirt Track Digest has been good to us too. And they do a great job, you know, out there and letting everybody know what's going on with the racing and the and the filming now of the track, you know, the racing and everything is really first class. So it's a good organization. So we're proud to be part of that, too. Well, we thank you very much. Thank All right, you. Bob. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. All right, it's Ken Bruce from Dirt Tech Digest here. We're here with um, Bruce Insinger of Insinger Performance, big uh, sponsor of the uh, Short Track Super Series. And uh, first of all, Bruce, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm, I'm great to be affiliated with the the whole area auto racing news uh, show here as being a, one of the major sponsors in that also. And, uh, you know, Brett's right across the street from us here, and uh, so it's a it's a win-win for all of us. Yeah, well, talk about, you know, you got involved with Brett Series two years ago. I was down at Georgetown when they had the announcement, and, you know, a lot of excitement, and, you know, you put up the big bonus, and I don't know if you thought anybody was ever going to get it, but, uh, you know, Matt took that big check home from you couple weeks ago at Brett's banquet so um, how is that you know how that come about and how's that you know helping yourself well you know as I as I said at the banquet you know when Brett came to us here yeah three go we're in our third year right now you know Brett kind of wanted to he wanted to step up his program and offer racers uh, some more incentives and you know he knew that in the industry that we were some of the forerunners in in doing different programs uh, to elevate the level of sponsorship uh, in the industry. And uh, so, you know, we, we put together the package and with some bonuses and stuff. And, you know, to be honest with you, I really didn't think that anybody would ever win the North-South Series that he had plus the um, American Racer Cup. I'm very proud of Matt Shepard. Matt, Matt has run our fuel for years. And, uh, but to answer your question, no, I, I never really thought anybody would do that, but 
you know, congratulations to him. And, uh, you know, hopefully somebody will do it again next year. Talk about, you know, you're also involved with Big Diamond Speedway, your sponsor of the uh, modified division up there. And, um, you know, has that helped you out? And talk about your involvement with Jake at Big Diamond. Oh, absolutely. You know, Jake Jake is a, is, is a, a great promoter. And likewise, he has come to us and said, you know, we'd like to do more. And, you know, with going with the spec, spec fuel that, uh, that Big Diamond is, is uh, requiring, uh, you know, we're able to, to help Jake with purses and the amount he pays out every week. And um, plus it gives a, it's, it gives a, level, a level of uh, continuity where it's a level racing field versus a lot of the situations where you get into where oxygenated fuels and such is, is allowed and um, it's kind of an unfair advantage. But this way here, everybody everybody comes and it's on a level playing field. And, uh, you know, the, the, the fans like that. More and more they're seeing it. And it's, it's kind of the, the future of racing. Talk about in-singer performance a little bit. You guys, you know, I was doing some research on your website before I did the uh, – the article for uh, Big Diamond there about our sponsors and everything, and um, you guys, you have long arm there. You show from Canada down to Florida. Yeah, so you know we've been in this. Uh, we're in our 34th year of selling race fuels, and uh, you know I started selling fuel in the back of a pickup truck at one of the race, drag race facility, Beaver Springs Dragway, and uh, I I wanted to race. I didn't have. I was young. I didn't have no money to race, but. I, so I started selling race gas. I take a barrel a week to uh, Beaver Springs Dragway, and I would make enough money to pay for my entry fee and maybe buy a burger for the family and so on. That's how it all started, and you know now we're up to uh, we got 24 trucks and tractor trailers. Uh, we cover Canada, uh, the northern. Part of my company does Pennsylvania, New York, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, and we have a distribution in center in Newark, Delaware, and our main hub is in Dushore, Pennsylvania. And uh, a year and a half ago, we reached out to um, Sunoco because there was we felt there was some issues in the Southern Territory, so we opened up a distribution center in Fayetteville, Georgia. And uh, currently we're doing the Florida Panhandle, Alabama, Georgia, uh, South Carolina, Tennessee, and, uh, and Georgia. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty busy. <laughs> well, I know as a race fan myself, I'm a race fan before I'm a reporter and everything. And I, I, I appreciate all the sponsors in our sports, and I really appreciate how big Insinger Fuels is and supporting, you know, my favorite division, which is Modifies, Dirt Modifies, and uh, – I can't thank you enough for doing that, and sorry you have to deal with people like Rich Perone, but you know <laughs> things happen. Well, Richie's a good dealer of ours, and he, you know, he covers Big Diamond for us. He goes to Wall, and he's down to Grandview Speedway, and you know, Rich is just a fun guy to be around, and I'm I'm very proud to have Richard as a dealer, and uh, <laughs> you know, we'll we'll pick on him whenever we can, but <laughs> he he is a great guy. Yes, he is for sure. And, uh, all right, thank you for taking a few minutes of your time. And, uh, we, like I said, I appreciate what you do for our sport. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it.